everyone, we're from the Aquila Broadcasting Team and this is our first newscast. Let's start this broadcast with interviews from a few new teachers. We're here with Mr. Lucas, one of the new teachers at UPA. And we're going to interview him to see uh, his journey to UPA. So, where did you teach through yesterday before? Uh, sure. Um, well, well, I've taught the few schools. Uh, you know, I started out a long time ago in the East Bay at Hayward High School in Fremont. Um, and then um, I took a little time off to travel. Um, when I came back, I was subbing um, before we were coming to UPA. Why did you choose to come to UPA and call the other schools? You know, uh, I had. I I had substituted at UVA before, and um, so I was here for maybe like a week and a half. And, and even in that week and a half, you could see just the community it was, a tight knit community. So, uh, you know, you know, seeing like all the teachers and students knew each other, and, 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 and you know, everybody, uh, like everyone was just really, really nice. So, it was on my radar. Um, and so, when a job opening hit, wanted to make sure I uh, gave it a shot. Well, I've interviewed, you know, I, um, I, I wanted to be a teacher since high school, um, so I, um, um, I, well, I went to Stanford University as a biology major there, um, and then after that, um, uh, when I went to East Bay um, to yeah. get the credentials, so I was in this situation. Hi guys, so I'm here today with Miss Kelly. Uh, she's a new PE teacher this year, and I think you were here for some of last year too? Uh, yep, I was uh, subbing last year. Okay, so what do you think of UPA so far? Um, I love it. Um, I like the smaller classes and I'm getting to know all the students since I have about a third of the students in my class right now um, here on the UPA campus. Um, so it's nice to see everyone in the hallway and almost recognize everyone. Uh, everyone's super nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's super supportive of every, uh, everyone else. So. Okay, and what made you want to teach here at UPA? Um, one was that it wasn't super, super, super far from my house. <laughs> um, after stepping here last year, um, I found uh, that I really liked the type of students that were here at UPA um, and kind of what it stood for um, in terms of trying to get those kids to a four-year university. Um, and I also like that it's a rigorous school, um, but I can provide them with a little bit of fun during PE. So. And did you go to university to get like a teaching degree? Um, I didn't go to a university to, st uh, I didn't start teaching um, right out of college. Um, I actually went to UC Berkeley and was a gymnast on their gymnastics team um, and did American studies. So it was very, very broad, um, my type of studies. Um, but I did go to national university to get my teaching credentials. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Lucas and Ms. Kelly for allowing us to interview you. McLeet and I were lucky enough to sit down with a couple of members of ASB and discuss the Halloween dance and Spirit Week. As we all know, the Halloween dance and Spirit Week just occurred last week. So today I have Haley Allen, who is Secretary of Spirit. And so my first question for you is, what activities were your favorite to coordinate for these events? Um, I definitely liked the art monster chairs game which is like a play on musical chairs but with Halloween songs and stuff it was super fun because everyone could get involved and it was big groups of people that could play so I liked that one the best. Oh yeah I remember that that was quite entertaining and so um, in response to that uh, what activities do you wish that we could have done so maybe you could do this in like the nearby future? See I can't tell you that ASV has to keep some some mm. activities secret so All right, look out for the next next events we have as our Friday activity. <laughs> okay, and so um, I think this is a question that a lot of the UPA students had, is um, why wasn't there a rally? Um, so ASB felt that there was like a lot of stuff going on on Friday because the dance was on Friday instead of Saturday this time, because of Halloween obviously. Uh, so we decided to have um, the dance on Friday and have no rally so that we could give all our efforts mm -hmm. to the dance. Okay. But we'll have a rally. Previously, we had Haley Allen join us, who is Secretary of Spirit, and we know her job. But here we have Akela DeWitt, who is our senior class representative. And since we do know what Haley's specific job is, I wanted to know, what was your job during the Spirit Week? Um, during Spirit Week, my job was just to make sure that the senior class especially participated in Spirit Week, as well as encouraging the other grade levels to actually dress up for the Spirit Week and show some spirit. Um, aside from participating in the days for Spirit Week, I also did a lot of um, advertising for the dance, 
and I made sure that people were buying their tickets on time and adding, you know, songs to the song list, just trying to participate and get as much attendance as I could. Yeah. So now we have Junior Jordan Miller, who is the junior class representative. So what do you wish that you could have changed from last week, whether it be anything at the dance or throughout that whole, like, week? Um, I wish I could could have gotten like suggestions from the students because most of the days were uh, they they were made by ASB. Made by ASB, and so like if students could give suggestions to ASB, it'd be probably a much more Now we have a special segment on Common Core. Here's McLeet with the story. So today I have with me is Mr. Dillon, who is a math teacher here, and he is going to be talking to us about Common Core. So my first question is, how do you believe the students are adjusting to Common Core, considering it's it's pretty new? Yeah, I think there are definitely some challenges. Um, I think maybe the biggest challenge or difference for them is the sequencing of our program now and, and really understanding uh, like where are they going and where will they finish their high school years? Will they be able to uh, finish up with calculus or get to the highest level that they want to get to? So I think there's, I see a lot of questions there. So going to that exactly, um, which teaching style do you prefer? Do you prefer like, you know, the whole, you know, common core thinking outside of the box or do you prefer your previous, like the previous way that you used to teach? I mean, I, I, from a professional standpoint, I definitely prefer the out-of-the-box common core way, and I think that's best for students. Um, it may be more difficult for teachers to try to implement it, maybe have a you know a steeper learning curve for the students initially. But in the long run, I think that's what's better for students, and I think that's the most important thing. Okay, and so um, what are the benefits of having common core being implemented in specifically math classes? Um, so I think this is this is really going to prepare students for just a broader style of learning and applying their learnings. So when they get into college, they'll be they'll they'll learn how to think more than just memorizing some formulas, memorizing some steps on how to use those formulas. It's more about, okay, how can I solve this real life larger problem instead of, oh, okay, how do I plug in numbers and solve this equation? So, yeah. So I see the benefits in their college life and then Hopefully, Even well beyond, beyond that. Yeah. Thanks for watching our first broadcast video. We are so lucky to finally have broadcast journalism implemented to the journalism class. Don't forget to grab a printed copy of the Aquila when it comes out in December. Check the website frequently for more published stories, and don't forget to tune in to the next newscast.